Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is Rabbi Lawrence from RabbiLawrence.com. Um, we're working through the Amida. We are presently in the second of the three parts of the Amida. The first part we worked together through, and that was the Shevach section, the um, praising God section. After that section was completed, we started the Bakasha, the request section. And that was the last video we did. That was video number three. This is video number four. And over there we started with Bina, asking God for wisdom. Over there we asked God for Teshuva, for repentance. And then we asked God for Slicha, for forgiveness. What we're going to do today are a few more of the blessings found in this, the second section, the Bakasha, the request section of the Amida. And the first one is asking God for redemption. And the redemption over here is asking God to lift us up out of our afflictions and to take up our grievances and to redeem us. And these grievances are personal, the personal sufferings and challenges we go through, um, but also on a national level for the entire Jewish people, uh, whether they're in Israel, outside of Israel, wherever they are. You'll notice that all the prayers actually are in the plural. So for example, over here, we're not saying, God, take us up out of our personal afflictions, actually, they are finishing with the letters nu, va'anye nu, we're going to see. Nu means ours in the plural. When we pray, for the most part, except one prayer, which we said uh, last class, um, when we ask for wisdom, which is on a personal level, you can't ask God to give wisdom to others, you can only ask for wisdom for yourself. However, all the other prayers that we say, in the Amida, at least, are in the plural. And this is uh, no exception. We ask God to redeem us from our own personal afflictions, but also to remove the afflictions upon our people, wherever they are suffering throughout the world. And that is referred to as Geula, redemption. And we ask God to redeem us from um, the troubles and tribulations that we go through. So here we're going to begin that together. And you can follow inside. Once again, we're using the Art Scroll Sidor, which you can purchase on artscroll.com. The regular weekday Amida. Re Vanyenu Veriva Rivenu Uga Alenu Mehera Lamaan Shemecha Ki Goel Chazak Ata Baruch Ata Adonai Goel Yisrael. That concludes that blessing. You can turn over the page if you're following in the same book as myself, the Art Scroll. Here we ask God for Rufua, for healing, physical, could be even emotional, spiritual. Uh, and we ask God to heal us. Refua is how it's referred to. And once again, this prayer is in the plural. Refeinu, nu, at the end of a word, refers to us as a group, not as individuals. So we ask God to take and restore our full health and recovery for all our ailments. Of course, there is an obligation from the Torah to seek a medical device and medical help for any problems that we have, go to doctors, to hospitals. But as well as that, we also ask God, who is the ultimate healer, to give us a fixing. And we begin this together. Rafa'enu Adonai Venerafe. Hoshienu Venevashea Ki Tehilotenu Ata Vahale Refua Shalema Lachol Makotenu Ki El Melech Rofe 
ונאמן ורחמן אתה. ברוך אתה אדוני רופא חולי עמו ישראל. Thank you so much. We'll pick this up next class. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please check out my classes and purchase a copy of my book, Jew Got Questions, at my website, rabbilawrence.com. Thank you.